It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, spring training action from the Cactus League between the San Diego Padres and the Milwaukee Brewers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Freddie Peralta will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Here's the first pitch to him. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Keeley handles it, and there's one gone. That second. The second base. A chance now to give you a look at the Padres' starting lineup. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me they are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Third, the third baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. And in steps Manny Machado. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. And the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. What a blast that was. So here it is again, accompanied by show track. Great exit velocity, and the projected distance comes back at over 470 feet. An impressive thing to watch when it happened, and even more impressive to quantify with the numbers. That is good. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The 0 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ray waits on it, and that's the third out. Nelson Lamette is on the mound for the Padres in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lorenzo Kane is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and Now the pitch. Line drive to center field. Garcia is there and he has it for the first out. Batting second. The right fielder. Time now for a look at the hometown Brewers starting lineup. 
Mark daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys. Yeah Maddie a lot of professional at bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. Now at the play Corey Ray he'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Ball too high. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking that slider good. that time. Look yeah, that was really well oh. executed, Matt. A classic Sharp. strikeout oh, yeah. pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. No. As he'll take a look at a curveball that oh, no. misses wide for ball one. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Fouled off. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Fastball called strike. One and two. Now the pitch. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Ball. Miguel Sano would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Here comes the payoff pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time. And the side is retired. Gone in order of the Brewers. It remains 1-0. All set for the start of the inning and standing in here's the first baseman Eric Hosmer. The pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hosmer tends to have more success against right handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing, maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. The one two. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Arcia fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is clear. The right field, number 10. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And let's take a look at one of the most dynamic infielders in our sport, and that's Orlando Arcia. Playing up the middle, shortstop, premium position, cannon arm, highlight reel plays, the ability to make the routine one as well. The bat will continue to get better. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Padres an early 1 0 lead here in the second. And there's ball two now. Two balls, one strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Stepping in, Francisco Mejia. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. One one home waves and misses for strike number two not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here it's a two and two count to the Padres catcher two ball two strikes. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Takes it himself, and he got him. Three up, three down for San Diego. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and digging in is the big time power threat, Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man, it's 1 0. Ground ball left side reined in and there's one down now batting fifth the second baseman all right guys let's take a look at how the pods line up on D and let's focus on Manny Machado 2015 gold glove winner get the mantle space ready he's going to add more to that on the defensive side he's a highlight reel at the hot corner and that'll bring up Keston Hura as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with a one-run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. Now the three and O oh offering. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. In now, Avisail Garcia. To try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Pitch on the way. 
and he lays off for ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Grounded to first. Hosmer has it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're down one nothing. top of the third set to get underway and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Leori Garcia first offering on its way and he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot but ruled the ball 1-0 and popped him up Sano is over and he puts it away for the first down Batting nine, the pitcher, Denelson Lamed. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Denelson Lamed. First pitch of the at bat. The oh. fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One out, nobody on. And a pitch swung on and bounced to Arcia at short. And quickly, there are two away. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Striding into the box, Tommy Pham. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Oh. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ah. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. The count now at two and two. Now the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Kane. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Padres down in order. They lead it one to nothing. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here's the first pitch to him. Slider laid off for a ball. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Strike taken up in the zone. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. 
good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Lays off 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off the fastball the way, and it's 2 0. Oh. 3 and 0 oh. oh now. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. The 3-0 pitch is in there for strike one. The 3-1. Fastball too high. Ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And into bat next will be Freddy Peralta. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo Kane. So stepping in, Lorenzo Kane, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here's the 1 0. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I could get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Corey Ray would be next. Arcia at second with two down. A strike, and it's three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He pulls into second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. So now to the play, Corey Ray. As he hits one on a line to left field. Pham is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Brewers get a run on the RBI double. We played three full. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Brandon Woodruff will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. Here's Eric Sogard. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. 
Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air out to center field. After it is Kane. He's there and records the first down. The third base, number 13, Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Machado has a track record of power hitting at the major league level, over 250 career home runs. A ball and a strike now to Machado. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And a full count now, three and two. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Grounded weakly toward third. Going to be a tough play. On to Healy at first, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one to one. Chris Paddock takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 59, Chris Paddock. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Omar Narvaez. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ah! Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 
on its way the 0 1 pitch. On he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. 0 2 count you could do just about anything you want right now up down in out hard soft good time to be a pitcher count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Rowe. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. At the plate now, Keston Hiura. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 0. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On to the top of inning number five we go, all tied at one and one. Trey Schupach will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Number 79, Trey Schupach. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here it comes. Now here's the pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The white fielder, number 10, J.J. Bladet. Ready for another chance? J.J. Bladet. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. And that's in there for a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One run, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball. Two and one. Shupak. A 25 year old. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Set to deliver on two and one. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. In there, a base hit. Hey, there's a case of a jam sandwich right there. Not that bad of a pitch, but he's able to just be strong enough to loop that one into left field. Dan, sometimes a jam sandwich tastes much better than a rocket right at somebody. In now, Francisco Mejia lifted down the line in left. On the move is Garcia. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And he's safe. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. To the plate now, Leori Garcia. 
As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Now the 1 0. Misses above the zone for a ball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Runners are at second and third with one down. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up. But at least the double play is in order here with one away. Rick Paddock. Stepping up now, Chris Paddock. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. From the stretch. Three runs. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Up next for the Padres, the left fielder, Tommy. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tommy Pham. He's popped up in his first plate appearance and flied out last time around. From the stretch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. CNL Perez, a 5 foot 11 inch left handed reliever, enters to take over on the mound now. Number 54, CNL Perez. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Avisail Garcia. Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. That's wide, 2 and 0. Line towards center field. Garcia is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. So one gone in the Milwaukee fifth, and in next, the first baseman slash DH Ryan Healy. The pitch. Ball one. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. 
One run, two hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. The batter, number three, shortstop, Orlando, Arcia. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. First offering on its way. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. No. And that misses one and one. Two out, nobody on. And that misses two and one. Pitch on the way. No. He loses him on ball four. Looked like he might have got squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Jacob Nottingham will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 26, Jacob Nottingham. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. One and no pitch on the way. Flares this one over toward first, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Milwaukee leaves one. We played five full, tied at one aside. Bubba Derby takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 41, Bubba Derby. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Eric Sogard. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Late swing and a ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. Derby. A right-hander standing just under six foot at 5'11". He was taken in the sixth round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Behind 0-2 now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. The third base is number 13, Manny Machado. Into the box, Manny Machado, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's working on a one for two game so far. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right handers starting to loosen up. One one pitch. That's up. Ball two. A runner at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away.
Here now the 2-2. Is laid off and the count runs full. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Fouled off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continue. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Keen is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batter, the court guy, Fernando Tatis. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. One and no pitch on the way. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Padre shortstop ahead with a three-ball, one-strike count. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. Now a ball hit in the air to straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. It's a two run shot to straight away left and it gives the Padres a three to one lead. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be the deciding factor. And we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Still only one out in the inning. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Garcia coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. The right fielder, number 10, J.J. Bladet. Now to the plate, J.J. Bladet. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. One ball, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul.
the 2 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. The Padres get a couple of runs in the inning on the two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now 3-1, to one, Friars. Adrian Morejon enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. San Diego, number 50, Adrian Morejon. In now is Lorenzo Kane. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once. A oh, and this kicks right off of him. Now batting, right fielder, Dory Ray. Stepping in now, Corey Ray, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Morajon, a Cuban-born ball player, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. From the belt, the pitch. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now a throw over, and he's back standing. And again a throw, and a dive, but he's back. A 1-1. One, one. Ball. 2-1. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now a move over to first, and the runner back easily. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Nobody out, runner on first. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. At the plate, Omar Narvaez, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. He's set, and the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. The 0-1 delivery. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Right side, hit hard. 
And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Colin McHugh takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh. And there's ball one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. So a full count now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the payoff pitch home. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Wow, they went to the pen because they liked the matchup, and what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run, so so much for that strategy makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. Digging in, Keston Hiura, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's ready. Here's the first offering. McHugh offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off-balance swings against it, and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball. One and one. Obviously a huge situation in the game here, but at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very oh. least, just find a way to get that tying oh. run home from third. Ball three. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The 3 1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. 
So here is Avisayo Garcia. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. One there. On to Hosmer. A double play and that ends the inning. Two hits lead to a run here for Milwaukee. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Padres three and the Brewers two. Corey Black is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Corey Black. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. A hit in two tries for him so far. Francisco Mejia. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. And he misses two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. The two two. And now a slider in on the hands and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. And just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Fouled off. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hard hit to first. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Dero, with that stacked infield on the right side. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. Leori Garcia is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Garcia. Playing here in his age 31 season. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Two balls and no strikes to the Padres center fielder. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. A very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Pops this one up. Sano moving to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Eliezer Alvarez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Eliezer Alvarez. And it's fouled away. Runners on first with one down.
And he fouls this one off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Throw won't get him. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Josh Naylor will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. The 0 1 pitch lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. The 1-2 down the first baseline. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. Runners are at first and third, one away. To two balls and two strikes now. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Kane is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And this will go down as a sack fly and an RBI as it's now a 4-2 to two game. Every team is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. Franchi Cordero will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Cordero. Driven to right field and deep. Ray looks up and it's gone. A two run blast to straight away right field as they open it up to six to two now. Dan, you see the guy out on the mound. He's pitching with bad body language right there. There's blood in the water for a lot of these hitters. You know, D-Row, you have to make up your mind when you run out there. You're going to do one of two things. You're going to be the hunter or the huntee. And right now, they're hunting this guy. Jimmy Lambert will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Jimmy Lambert. Trent Grisham will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Grisham. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And 
And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Count remains two and two. Three runs already home here. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two-two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Will Myers will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number four, Will Myers. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. Inside. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 is laid ball. off for ball two. Drilled right back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Barreto, the former Miami Marlin, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Two men are on with two men out. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, it's but they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Padres six and the Brewers two. Josh Naylor remains in the game, batting ninth and Manning left field. Number 22, Josh. Trent Grisham remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Dan Altavia gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 53, Dan Altavilla. Now at second number 33. Luis Camposano is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Number 91, Luis Ty France is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Jurickson Profar is also into the game as he takes over at short. Last half of the seventh here, and here comes the first baseman, Ryan Healy. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
Here comes the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Profar has a play. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Austin Hedges has come into the ballgame now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base. Number 18. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Here's the first pitch to him. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's the ball. We're playing 11, 1 1. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Orlando Arcia becomes the second no out of the bottom of the seventh. Lambert. Scooter Jeanette will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Scooter. Good hat. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The 1-0. is a slider taken for a ball. Jeanette, an Ohio native. He was a 16th round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 3-0 pitch is offered at and missed for the first strike. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Pitch is popped up. France is under it. And that ends the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. They still trail here. It's 6-2. to two. Aaron Loop has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 15, Aaron Loop. Jorge Ona is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hot shot down the line. 
And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball, but gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try and do too much, and drives it for a base hit. Standing in now, Francisco Mejia. Swinging a ball, hit softly on the ground. To second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know, they do get the double play. Now batting, Leori Garcia. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball one. Now the 1-0 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. 2-2. Hey. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Two out, nobody on. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Luis Torrens will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 21, Luis Torrens. Try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. One strike. The 3 1. Little chopper back to the mound. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. One left for San Diego. They lead it 6 to 2. Jorge Ona will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field. Number 63. Matt Strom is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55. Matt Strom. Ben Gamble will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. shot down the first baseline and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball 
And the Brewers get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. The, the fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Tristan Lutz will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. Number eight, Tristan Lutz. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Strom, 30 years of age. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Come set and the 0-1. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. No one out with a runner at second. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. Omar Narvaez is on deck. The three one and he lays off ball four so he comes right off the bench and works the walk usually easier said than done. Now that the catcher Diego Moda will get a chance to swing the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. None out. Runners at first and second. Two and oh now. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. There's a strike. It's two and one. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Fouled away. First and second here with nobody out. Hit hard. But foul. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 6-3 contest. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Emilio Pagan. Comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Yohan Hel Segovia who come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. The 1 0. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Naylor comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now back. Second baseman, Kester Mura. Austin Romine will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Austin Romine. The 
yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball. He's ready. Here's the 1 0 swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. The 1-1 home. Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Brewers forced to settle for one. Ninth inning coming up. The Padres lead it 6-3. Ben Gamble stays in the ball game batting number eight and takes over in center field. Tristan Lutz will stay in the game taking over in right field and batting in the eighth spot. Number eight, Tristan Lutz. Diego Mota will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now at third base, number 11, Yohan Hill. Yuanhil Segovia will stay in the game, taking over at third base and batting in that eighth spot. Buck Farmer enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Number 45, Buck Farmer. Luis Urias is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Now catcher, number 30, Diego Moda. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Josh Naylor, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Naylor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did not miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. 3-0 to him now. Now the pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Ronnie Rodriguez has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base. Number Stepping up to the plate, Ty France, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, the pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch, you could get super greedy right down the middle. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1-1 one one now. From the belt, the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Up next to the Padres, the third baseman, Austin Hedges. So a runner at first now with one away, and Austin Hedges will be the next to hit. He's set. Here it comes. No. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. one. one, one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high V, though. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. And, oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. One there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Uh, and this has to be a big concern here. This ball came back and got him right in the pitching arm. And that is something you just never want to see. You can see him trying to work this one off. And from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue. So that at least is a good sign. At the plate, Jurickson Profar.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. And he'll make it to second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious consequences. This is a pass ball, and the runner moves into scoring position. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2, and, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Two out here and a runner at second. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Now batter, the first baseman. Stepping into the box, Luis Camposano. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a strike. Oh one. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Ball. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Jorge Ona would be next. Crowd gets up for the three, two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Kyle Bearclaw takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 45, Kyle Bearclaw. Matt Adams will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth, and they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. And now pitch on the way. Ball. Playing 11. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a long solo homer there off the bat of Matt Adams. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four.
Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yeah, Matty V, you don't see this very often, Dero, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. And another foul ball. Now another 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate now, Orlando Arcia, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A couple of walks for him thus far. One and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. Two the one two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. One out, nobody on. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Fouled off. the three two one more time yeah. and he ball takes four. ball four again and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one well that was a slider in a three two count and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing a good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there Lucas Ersig will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line Number 77. Lucas Low for ball one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. 
Now the 2-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One strike. The 2-1 home. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. The second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Six to four, the outcome today. The San Diego Padres used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. CNL Perez is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Brewers, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.